Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about HTV Anything. I know I promised a tutorial on this a while back and um, life happens. I got distracted and it took me a lot longer than I had hoped to get this video out. But the product is amazing. It's everything they say it is on their videos. Um, the only downfall is that it is kind of expensive when you add in shipping costs, but I think it's totally worth it. I was able to take um, just a regular wine cocktail tumbler and turn it into this. It is amazing. It is gorgeous. The sparkle is unreal. And this is Glitter HTV and Hot Fix Rhinestones on a hard surface. I can't wait to show you exactly how I did it. Um, but first, for those of you that are new around here, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette, and I hope that you are going to join our little crafting community. We would love to have you. All right, once we get to the software portion of this tutorial, I'm going to go rather quickly, but I will link other helpful videos in the description for creating a rhinestone template for editing points and other things that might help you along the way. I'll also link um, all of the products that I used in the description as well. Now, if everyone is ready, let's do this because I am so excited about this project. Let's take a look at the materials we are going to use today. We will start with the star of the show, HTV Anything. That comes from the Rhinestone World. We have Glitter HTV, Magic Flock, and Transfer Tape for the Rhinestones. Then we have rhinestones, we have the rhinestone tool. I'll be putting everything on this wine tumbler today. And of course, I always have my cutting mat, my ruler, and my razor. Now in the Silhouette software, I have already brought in my SVG. Just going to zoom in. First thing we are going to do is create an internal offset of 0 0.065. Going to change the color on that and apply. I'm going to right click and group. This is going to be for our rhinestone, so let's open that panel. We're going to use linear fill. Now I'm going to release the rhinestones. That takes a minute sometimes and just adjust all of them so that they're sitting where I want them. Now I'm going to pull away the original, select all of the rhinestones and group them. Next, we're going to go back to the original template we're going to create a regular offset this time of 0 0.02. And then we're going to adjust that just a bit so that the sides and the top are even with the original. We do not want an overlap on the sides or the top. So I'm going to zoom in and bring up, bring up the editing points for the offset. We want the editing points for the black layer. I'm going to select the top one, hold shift, select the bottom one, and then just move it in with my arrow key. We'll do the same for the other side. Adjust that point. Let's zoom out and now we can just select the offset and bring the top down so that it is even with the top of our original SVG. Pull that away. We're going to flip that horizontally because that's going to be cut out of Glitter HTV. This black piece is our HTV anything, and then of course we have our rhinestones. 
go to the send panel but I want a little bit of space around my rhinestone so I'm going to go back to design and leave a little edge that looks better click on send we're going to choose our material which is rhinestone template material Typically, this does an okay job without any adjusting for my machine. Yours might be different. Go ahead and send that through the machine. Head back to design. We'll grab the HTV Anything design. Click on send. Now for this one, you are going to want to set your blade depth at 3. You're going to set your force to 20. You're going to do one pass and set your speed to 10. These settings are on the Rhinestone World website for reference. The last thing we're going to do is cut out our HTV. We've already mirrored it on the design tab so when we go to hit send we can just send as is. Here is the HTV Anything cut out and weeded. It's a little bit hard to see, but um, you want to make sure you cut that with the shiny side up. Now let's get to our rhinestones. I'm just going to dump some out onto the template and get to work with the rhinestone tool. If you're enjoying this video so far can you go ahead and hit the like button for me it helps me out a ton and it helps other crafters find the video as well it would be greatly appreciated all right now we are going to go ahead and get started with the pressing I'm just going to use my hand press for this you need to line your HTV up with your HTV anything and they send you a card with directions so you can follow along with that it says to press the first layer at 315 for three seconds just to tack that down I wasn't sure if my press was covering the whole thing so I did both sides Take the backing off of the heat transfer vinyl. The HTV anything at this point did want to pull up off of its backing a little bit. So you want to take your time when you're peeling the top sheet off of the heat transfer vinyl. Let's get our rhinestones ready. I always have a time with this. They should be stuck well to the transfer tape, but I always lose one or two for some reason. We can get that lined up. For the second layer of material on top of your HTV anything, it says to press at 315 for eight seconds. Make sure you apply pressure if you're using a hand press. Let's remove the transfer tape from the rhinestones. Look at that shine. It is just gorgeous. Now the back of this is sticky just like permanent vinyl. Let's grab our cup. I'm 
I'm going to peel just the edge of the backing away so that I can get it situated on the cup and line everything up properly. I need something to hold my cup steady. I'm just going to start working that HTV anything around the edge of the cup, lining it up as I go, slowly removing the backing. Now when I got to the end, there was a little bit of an overhang, but I am going to trim that off with my razor knife. As with any new product, you're going to experience some bumps along the way. But this was relatively easy to use, and I love the end results. I will be using this cup a lot during the summer months. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot. The Rhinestone World says that this is dishwasher safe. That's a huge bonus. I tried to cover everything in the tutorials, but if I have missed something and you have questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll get around to answering them as quickly as I can. I promise the next video coming out is how to create a skin for your cameo or a portrait. You're not going to want to miss it. So if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and you will be notified when I upload that video. Now, go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.